Oi, g'day America. I'm out here at La Puente once again. I come back here for the flat bar. I just can't get enough of this flat bar. It's so small and forgiving and playful. But yeah, I'm meeting up with Dan and Arjun. I'm going to get some skating done as per usual. And yeah, cheers for all the support in the last few videos. It's been fun skating with Arjun out here while he's out on the west coast before he heads back to the east, before he goes back east, as you Americans would say. There always seems to be some type of construction going on at La Puente. Every time I come here, they're always moving dirt and digging holes and doing whatever, but they move the dunnies. Like, you could manual, you could do a line and you could manual into the dunnies, check it out. Look where they put the dunnies. So, you could hit this flat bar here and go, oh shit, I've got to have a bog. Duck right into the dunny here, get it done, and uh, rejoin the session just as quick as you've gone in. Was that the trick you wanted to do, or you wanted to go switch front one out? That's it. I thought you were going to go switch front one out. Well, how does he do it, Mark Sushi? Both. Okay, let's just... <laughs> mm. Pop out early. I want to go the whole thing. Yeah, do the whole thing, dude. Yeah. Come on, man. Go big or go home to Australia. No, don't do that. We like you here. We need you here. That was it. You want a little bit of sauce for it? What sauce? Sweet sauce? Um, like skate wax. Like that. Turn my wax. You reckon? That's what, you reckon that'll do it? Yeah. So it feels like yeah. I'm gripping. Wax it up, dude. Right. There's some... Where'd you put it? Where's the wax? Wax it. I'm not dead. Bro! Bro, you're trying to get some. You guys know wax about wax, dude. Oh, this wax is getting soft, eh? You just need one coat. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Stop talking in the clip, Dan. Yes, sir. That was really good. You gonna do a front blunt burial flip like you're that kid, Jin Woo? Exactly like that. Uh, he actually does them kind of good for a two year old. Did almost do it. You gonna get another trick on the flat bar there, mate? I want to. I want to get a front table, but I also want to do a blunt. Back right. blunt. Yeah, do them both. Because he's front blunt. Back blunt. Do back blunt. Yeah. That was a good lock in. Yeah. Then he said that. I don't know. He hit it. Don't, like don't, don't do that. I'm doing it. It's not a trick. But it isn't. It does hit it, but it isn't. There we go. That was a good one. That was a lock in. Just slide it a little further in. Look at that steezy roll away. Wash your hands. Still aligned. Oh yeah, it is still aligned. Oh, 
All right, all right, Sean, go ahead. Why are you stop the audio? I'm crushing it. Dan, stop ruining the audio of my clip. You heard that? Oh, do it. Right here. I was like a stretcher kick with it. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. That was good. Everything is in the back seat. What? Literally everything is in the back seat. There's nothing going oh, on. Oh yeah, front. totally. That's what I think. So while we were at La Puente earlier, there was a young bloke and he told Dan about a DIY nearby. I gave Dan the address. We are here now. It is quite funny that this DIY spot used to be a Hooters. They still have the Hooters sign out the front, but it's funny that old burnt down restaurants make the best DIY spots, like the slab that was Square Waffle back in Campbelltown, New South Wales, Australia. So yeah, we're gonna go check out this Hooters DIY spot here and maybe get some clips. I don't know, I haven't been up there yet, so let's check it out. Dan's so tall, he just stepped over the fence here. He didn't need it, you know. Did you just walk over it? Oh shit. I don't, I feel like I'm gonna get sprung back. It's all gone? Look at these steps. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah, we've just come to a, uh, literally an empty slab because it's been knocked already. It looks like. Are you sure this is a spot? It's gone. Gone with the wind. Look at that. Doesn't that bring back memories, guys? If you guys are OG viewers on my channel, the slab was like this too. We had tiles and we had bits of concrete sticking out everywhere. Look at it. We got here too late, didn't we, mate? Here's the rubble in the aftermath of, uh, I believe, the DIY stuff that was here. Obviously, before we come here. It's gone. No, it's gone. It's all gone. It's all right here. Check it. Well, it didn't really look like much. I think this was a quarter or a ledge. I think it was a cinder block ledge. And this is the, the Hooters slab. Look at that. Hooters. Just uh, visiting this place here that was once Hooters. Seeing the ground and everything else is bringing back a lot of nostalgic memories in the slab. I'm trying to find a local spot to where I'm at right now to build some stuff. As I always am looking for spots, but like I really do want to get back into DIY because I was on Instagram the other day and a few of the boys from back where I used to live were like rub bricking this curb to skate and it was like sick to watch and like made me want to go out and build stuff and do stuff. So yeah, comment below if you want me to try to find something to build some shit. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down. You ever wondered what YouTubers look like when they're talking to their phones? This is what they look like, guys. Where Dan goes over there. Dan's just pointed out they had taken a jackhammer to like completely destroy this so you cannot skate it. Because it's not a bad set of stairs, if you look at it. And they've, oh, even, do you reckon they did the side of this too? Whoa, look! They just wanted to make it so unskatable for everybody, so no one can enjoy it. That sucks. The, ex the extent people will go to stop people from skating. There's a nice red curve here, it's been slapped out too, and you can see they've chipped the side there and there. If it was, they would have caution taped this off. It wouldn't be like random ass holes. Like, I don't think this was a jackhammer because I mean, whenever I use a jackhammer, you go through concrete so easily. I don't yeah. think they just went like and rode it real lightly throughout it. I would expect them to like go, 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 pop it out. Go, 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 yeah, go, this is really out. messy. So even if it was a jackhammer that did it, I don't think it was a professional that used a jackhammer to doing it. Because, I mean, they teach you how to draw lines with a jackhammer. It's wow. really easy to like fuck Plot this shit twist, up. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my fault. You hide some stuff. I had yeah, the construction yeah. background, so it could have been me. Because <laughs> I was like, man, I really want to make a video about how people like can hate skating and break stuff up. Yeah. I know. I'll go roll in the spot we're going to go to. It's like firefighters that light their own fires. 
Yeah, but like, look, I mean, like, look at, like, they, <laughs> yeah, took, looks like they took a sledgehammer and just backed away at it. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a doctor prescribing you medicines just so that you come back for more medicine. That's what oh, they wait. do. Yeah. That's healthcare in America. I know, that's why I made that face. You should grind that. Gap out. Pow! Dude, yeah, this, I ride like, for pow. <laughs> look at it, they just left all this rubble. They didn't clean it up. They even broke the tree, dude. Yeah, you know? The What's so bad about some kids skating here? That's what, that's the, that's the, the devil you face in DIY is that shit can be destroyed sometimes by just citizens, well, hero citizens. On your way back, bring me his son.